burgundy numbers as we're underway and travis dermott goes back to get it in his own zone but can't clear it's terry who gets a chance and that one ricocheted off a goal post came right back to him and then watch the pass to troy terry because he's going to just love this reading Cassian carries it in and hands it off at the strike. Terry immediately engaged, but he gets it back. Walks to the slot, shoots. Big save, Ingram. Cassian was blocking out the sun in front. Take away the eyes of the goaltender and be difficult to move. That time, he had a breakout year. Into the middle, Sean Dursey reaching. Had it knocked away by Zegris, but he took it back. And here's a chance off the goal post. Boy, they are glad to have him back on the ice and get getting them ready for the regular season. Right in front, Gibson makes a nice save as Gunther uh, circled around and found himself at the far post. Michelli. And we get set to begin the second period of play. So it's back to Carlson with Zegris and Terry to begin the period. And the veteran Travis Boyd opposing Carlson who wins the draw. Won't be 19 years of age until the day after Christmas, or as you Canadians call it, Boxing Day. Keller's shot goes off of Gibson and out of play. Coming off the line, didn't get a lot on his backhander, though. Lassie Thompson hangs on to it as Jason Zucker nearly took it away, did not get loose, and Logan Cooley scores. Well, that's a bad turnover for Lassie Thompson and, and like all young defensemen you got to learn when to make the safe play when to recognize that the pressure is significant enough to put you in jeopardy I mean the Coyotes get in on the four check a little pressure on him he couldn't handle a little mishandle right there and then he coughs it up and John Gibson let's see what happens with Gibson he got the stick knocked out of his hands and he's spinning around to pick up Leeson comes back, recovers possession, angles it off the boards for Carlson, just overled him. And a good play by Ingram, who came out to swat it away. And just trying to throw it off the wall was Leeson and let Carlson skate into it. Now to the front of the net again. Kerfoot scores. Oh, yeah, Alexander Kerfoot, one of those players that signed with the Coyotes, and he's going to get a lot of ice time. But I. Tell you what, Kerfoot has got some upside offensively. There's the turnover. Thompson kind of coughed that one up too. It's been a rough initiation for Lassie Thompson. And the turnover proves costly. Nothing that John Gibson can do about that shot. And Keller handles on the right wing half wall, curls it back to the line. Sean Dursey, the former Los Angeles King, is there. Keller moves it right on the doorstep. Ayton tried to draw it in front, but he drew attention as Labushkin. Took it away and now battles the puck off the end boards. Dursey able to keep. Carlson pops out high. Zegers in front looking for a redirect for McTavish. Came clean through to Terry who fires wide. Boy, good screen from McTavish. I don't think Ingram saw it. Terry just missed his shot. He tries again. Nice pass across. Zegers and a sprawling save doing the splits by Ingram. Looking for a change and Carrick will just hoist it in and head to the bench for that said change. Gunther, meantime, takes a stretch pass ahead, puts it into space for Cooley, and Michelli hit the goal post. I'm not sure that one entered the trapezoid, but they say play on. The officials think so. That's all that matters. Schmaltz muscles his way in over to Keller. He hit the goal post. Clayton Keller is just so deceptive when he gets that puck on his stick. He has tremendous vision on the ice, and we, we've seen flashes of that certainly in this game tonight. Underway to begin the third Troy Stetcher tried to go up the middle with that puck he hit Lawson Kraus with it and enables the Ducks to regain possession Now he carries in and hands it off Henrique Puts the puck out in front of him to keep it away from Barrett Hayton back to the line Fowler quickly across McTavish dusts it off He hit the goal post. What is it about that end of the ice the right hand of Cooley boy the Ducks hit a couple of pipes on that power play across room time for Silverberg back to Mintnikoff his pass a little off the mark, so he gets it right back. Carlson right back to Zegers. They move it around. Carlson in front. Silverberg with a quick shot off of Ingram. Straight up in the air. Went behind the net. Zegers found it first. Carlson to Mintnikov. Wrist shot. Didn't get through. And Karam's out center ice. 
Logan Cooley gets to it first in shorthanded and a last minute poke check knocks it away. Penalty coming up to the Ducks and a penalty shot yeah. coming up for Logan Cooley. Slow at first. Left shot. Swings in off the right side. Scores off the post and in. Because it gives them such an advantage when they when they slow it right down, they can move the puck around, try and get a goaltender to bite on something. That's just a beautiful shot by Logan Cooley. John Gibson, I guarantee you, thought he had that angle on the blocker side completely covered. Over to Zucker, who hangs on to it, and his pass kept at the left point by Valimaki. Now well, Michelli across, and that handcuffs Zucker. Michelli again for Zucker. Right back to Michelli score. Boy, what a nice pass. That was some Zucker. crisp passing. Out of the net. But here's the first pass from Michelli. And boy, when this return pass is allowed to get through, it really puts Gibson in a tough spot. And you can see that Gibson's trying to get over to protect that short side. But so a little later getting to the NHL, perhaps. Got a few games before last uh, two seasons ago and then last season the whole year. Here's Carlson. He speeds in and goes backhand and Good Ingram's stop. got that. Who just kind of banks it off the wall to himself and gets it out of harm's way. Nice play there by Radko. Here's Carlson. He's in. Can't sneak it five hole on Ingram. Troy Terry at the side of the net and the Arizona net miner will cover. A smart little play when the goaltender can get to those pucks that are dumped in and just put them in the right spot for their defenders it you know, makes the breakout so much easier McTavish skates into one off the wall he hit the goal post two on one with Strom he took the shot he wins the puck Coyotes changing Ducks try to find room in the neutral zone Terry nice little pass Carlson busts in again tried to chip it over and I think Ingram got a piece of it and then they have back-to-backs the following weekend that include the Boston Bruins, a team who had a record-setting year a season ago as Leeson speeds the other way and sets up the first goal of the hockey game. Sam Karen buries it off. Just a beautiful rush up the ice by Brett Leeson. And tell you what, where do you go to score goals in this league? Go to the top of the goal crease. Nice little dump feed. By Leeson just throws it to the top of the crease. They have got a yell at that point from Sam. And a nice little finish as he outraced Liam O'Brien. Ducks able to win a puck battle off the draw and spinning with it is Troy Terry. Wants to bring it to the front and it went right through his intended target. Fowler with a keep and a hard one timer for McTavish. Ricochets off the end boards. He gets it back across. Silverberg had to dust it off. Loose in front and Cassian taps it in. The Ducks were able to get kind of those 50-50 pucks back on their stick. And that's the first really mistake, I would say, by Ingram made in this game because it was a shot to the glove side and it appeared to go off the heel of the catching glove. And it's a tap in for Zach Cassian. Nice. Excuse me, the ice time for Trevor Zegers over 24 minutes as the final five seconds come to an end. Stalock had returned to the crease and this one is in the books. The final home preseason game for the Ducks is a 4-2 defeat at the hands of the Coyotes.